All right, we started recording. Go ahead, Crystal. You can start whenever you want.
All right, hello everyone. Welcome to the second annual faculty and staff art show. My name is Belinda Munoz and I am the chair of the Staff Assembly Executive Committee. And I would like to thank my Staff Assembly team and Chris Lopez of the Arts and Designs Department, who without them, this today's show would not be possible. Um, it was the Arts and Designs uh, team that thought about this idea about two years ago. And I'm happy to say that we were able to get through our first one, which was supposed to be live and we turn into a virtual world. And now we are on year two in a virtual world and I am looking forward to the day that we'll be able to host this event live. So we have a great show ahead for you guys. I am, I'd like to thank you all for being with us here this afternoon. Um, if you are not muted already, please keep yourself muted throughout the show. There will be, an, uh, we encourage conversation, but we would like for that conversation to take through, take the uh, happen through our chat. Uh, we've got lots of things planned for you guys today. We've got some great art to show each and every one of you, but I just wanna go through a few things before we, I go ahead and turn that on over. Um, so yes, you will be muted upon entry. Uh, however, we do encourage conversations through the chat mechanism. In the chat, you will also find lots of links. One of the links will be for a downloadable program that we have for today's um, event. And it'll show, it'll give an idea. Oh, well, I guess with my background, you can't see it. Um, but there's a downloadable program that will give you an idea of what to expect for today, along with all of the artists and all of our sponsors. So it was, if you have not already done that, I encourage you to do that. Um, I'd also like to let everybody know that because today is an open event for both um, on campus and off campus, so all of our family and friends, uh, and we do have individuals who are on today that will keep an eye out for bombers, but we ask that everybody kind of have that eye out. If you see anything that is not appropriate, please let us know immediately and we will make sure to get that taken care of. Um, all right, so what else? Um, there is going to be a voting today. So you will all have an opportunity to vote on your favorite art piece. And there will be a link in the chat as we get closer to that time period where that'll take you to a link, uh, take you to the site where you are actually able to vote. The voting is going to be, it's going to have a number and it's going to have a name. So as, we continue, as we're showing you the video that has all of the art that's being displayed today, um, Please keep a piece of paper and pen handy that you can write down your favorite ones. And this way, when the voting opens, you can go on then and, and then vote for your favorite art piece. Um, let's see, what else? Um, I would like to formally congratulate uh, Dr. Saul Jimenez Sandoval and Nora Chapman on their new exciting roles on campus. So congratulations. And we'll hear a little bit more from both of them um, in just a little bit. Um, and last but not least, if you have not already done so, I encourage you to grab your favorite Fresno State glass of wine, sit back and enjoy the show. All right. So with that, now that we have our introductions and you all know what to expect today, um, we have a special guest that I will introduce and then turn it on over. Um, so my first introduction today will be someone who really needs no introduction. He is someone who was raised on a small farm in the town of Fowler, which is just outside of Fresno. Um, he, oh, um, sorry, he is someone who has been part of the Fresno State family for over 15 years and many of them in teaching. He is someone who has a passion for all of his past students and all of his current students and future Fresno State students and the Fresno State community. Um, this individual also shares the passion and well-being of the faculty and staff. It is with great pleasure that I have the honor to introduce 
Fresno State's ninth president, Dr. Saul Jimenez Sandoval. Welcome, Dr. Sandoval. Thank you very much, Belinda. And thanks, thanks to all of you uh, for being here and uh, producing yet another incredible show. I want to thank the artists uh, for everything they put into their artistry. And I want to thank Belinda and her team for putting this together because we need we need to celebrate each other. We need to celebrate uh, who we are as a community. So thanks. I'm very pleased to be here. If you want, you want me to do a poem? Is that, <laughs> yes, <laughs> is that what you're waiting for? <laughs> yeah, so well, welcome. Yes, we're so happy to have you. Uh, last year, we were honored to have you as our provost then. And you shared a poem that we, of course, we had to welcome you back and and ask you to come back and whether you were doing a poem today or are you going to do some instrument? Because I understand you have a musical talent <laughs> as well. Well, first of all, I like to say I understand you got lots of talents out there. You just you're like the jack of all trades in the art uh, district, aren't you? No, it's it's. I'm actually not a very good uh, pianist, and I think Robert Baldonado can attest to that. And I, I saw him <laughs> earlier on, <laughs> on the uh, on the thing. But I have a poem to share with you. Um, and it's a really special poem that really calls out to me. I'll, I'll tell you a little bit of, of a story on how I chose this poem. Um, when I was studying at Irvine, I would take the train up. Uh, I would go uh, to the train station and then I would take the train up and it would take about maybe seven and a half, eight hours uh, to come up to Fresno from uh, Irvine. Uh, and then when I would arrive to Fresno to the station, uh, my dad would always pick me up. And he would you know, always take my bags and he would carry them to the car. Um, and then once we got to the car, he would always give me something from his garden. Um, uh, he, if it was you know, the time of tomatoes, he would give me like the most perfect cherry tomato. Or if, if it was the winter and he had apples, he would give me like you know, the best apple that he could find in his garden. And, and I always felt you know, that that was something special, but I never actually stopped and really thought about how meaningful that is. Um, and only you know, later, years later did I realize that um, he had really gone through a lot to till the land and to take care of the plants and then to harvest and then to choose amongst you know, all of the tomatoes or all of the apples, something that was really special uh, for me. Um, and then you know, after I would eat it and I would say, oh, this is delicious. And then I would just you know, move on. And I wouldn't really stop and smell the roses you know, as as it were. Um, so this, this poem sort of reminds me of that. And it's a poem that, I, that I'd like to sort of reflect on because um, sometimes we need to say to people, thank you for what you do. You know, just stop in our tracks and say, I appreciate you and I appreciate everything you've done. And I appreciate, you know, a simple gesture, uh, just simply showing grace. So, so this is a poem by uh, Rob, Robert Hayden. Um, he was the first African-American uh, to be appointed uh, as a consultant in poetry in the Library of Congress, which is a role today known as the U.S. Poet Laureate. And we know about that because we have two at Fresno State, Phil Levine and Juan Felipe Herrera. Uh, and this poem then is called Those Winter Sundays. So the poem goes like this, Those Winter Sundays. The Sundays too, my father got up early and put his shoes and clothes on the blue black cold. Then with cracked hands that ached from labor in the weekday weather made baked fires ablaze. No one ever thanked him. I would wake and hear the cold splintering breaking. When the rooms were warm, then he would call. And slowly I would rise and dress, fearing the chronic angers of that house. Speaking indifferently to him, who had driven out the cold and polished my good shoes as well. What did I know? What did I know of love's austere and lonely offices? So, so it's, it's a poem about a dad that on Sunday morning, it, the house is super cold. And then he, he makes sure that he goes and puts on the furnace so that it gets warm. And only when the house is warm, then he wakes up the sun and says, okay, now you can get up because now I prepared this warm house for you. And then on top of that, what he's done is he's also shined his good shoes because they're going to go to church right after. 
so it's, so it's just a really lovely poem that that uh, makes one um, sort of like stop in one's tracks and say, uh, I'm going to appreciate others and what others do for me so that we can forge a stronger sense of community with each other as well. So that, that's my poem for today, Belinda. Oh my gosh, thank, thank you so much for that. Okay, I'm in tears. <laughs> it, sorry. <laughs> You no, read that good. in it. <laughs> it, glad. it reminded glad. me of you. my dad <laughs> and growing up. So yeah. oh, sorry, this was not planned. So I'm gonna just turn this over to Crystal here because but thank you so much for that because that was an amazing poem. Thank my you. pleasure. Thank you for doing this. Thank you, Dr. Sandoval. That was like a really beautiful illustration of love at its finest. Yeah. You know, our parents have so much love and coming from a family that um you know, showed those things, you know, day in and day out, I can just definitely resonate with that. So thank you. My pleasure. Um, so up next, we have, um, or I have the pleasure of um, introducing Dr. Chapman, Dr. Onora Chapman, um, our newly appointed Dean of the College of Arts and Humanities. So she's been at Fresno State since 2002, teaching ancient Greek, Latin and humanities courses. Her first artwork ever from the age of two, which is enshrined in her baby book, that is really awesome by the way, um, is a pencil drawing of her mother's face that accurately captures the essence of a woman at home with five small children. <laughs> so at the time there ended up being eight. Just keep that in mind, please. Um, her greatest artistic accomplishment was winning the national drawing contest in the comic section of the LA Times. And she received a telescope as her prize. She's now happy to be looking at the artwork of, she stated, actual artistic stars. So Dr. <laughs> Chapman, I'll go ahead and leave it up to you now. <laughs> Thank you Welcome. so much, Crystal. Thank you. Welcome. And you pronounced my name beautifully. Thank you. Thank you. Um, my mother's face looks, has hair that's slightly crazed. And, and it's so fitting. I must have seen her just in a constant state of shock with all these babies running around. But the, the funny part is that that two-year-old understood the essence of her mother. And my mom proudly pasted it in my baby book because I think she was pretty impressed. I drew her instead of something else. And I think it really shows what you do as artists. You aim not to represent outward appearances, as Aristotle said, but the inward significance of how you feel, what you see, whom you love, what you have trouble with, everything is poured into your art. And that's what makes it so beautiful. That's what makes you proud of it. And that's what makes us so appreciative of it. I'm really grateful that we don't treat art like it's just an academic subject. It's something that should be shared and enjoyed by all. And I just want to thank you all for sharing your art with us, staff and faculty, because I'm so impressed. And honestly, I'm in awe of your talent. So thank you for letting me speak to you and have a wonderful day. Thank you, Dr. Chapman. Um, is there anything you'd like to share in terms of poetry or a piece? I apologize. I didn't know that I should bring poetry. Oh, okay. And, and no you, don't, you don't want to hear what I have in my memory. So that's, <laughs> so I will spare you that. But no, next okay. time I will come prepared. <laughs> okay. I appreciate it. Belinda, do you want to move forward with the toast? Sure, so if we could get um, uh, both uh, Dr. Chapman and um, Dr. Sandoval, if you would like to uh, do a toast to our artists and read off the names of our artists that are here today, it is in our program that was um, provided. If, if not, that's okay, but we would love for you guys to do a toast to our artists. Sure, Dr. Chapman, do you want to do the toast or do you want to read? You're, oh, you're, you're muted. muted. <laughs> <laughs> Panicking because I can't find the program. So um, I will it's, uh, find it. Okay, it's also in our in the chat. Okay. 
and I will I will also email it to you as well. But it's in our chat. If there's a printable program that is in there. our chat. Thank you. That's the screensaver. I'm not ready. I apologize. I didn't know that. Okay. This was a test. No, I know, I and I failed it. miserably. No. I, there it is, the program. I, I so, so apologize. Okay, here, yeah, is the, apologize. here is the program. We have our artists, Kenneth Balin, Alexis Ford, Megan Gurel, Blake Greenwood, Raymond Hall, David Hembry, Robert Maldonado, Georgiana Negron Long, Karen Nephew, Leslie Weiser, and Lisa Weston, as well as musical guests, Jose Eligarza and the UHS Symphony Orchestra. Hello. <laughs> okay. <Round of> applause. <laughs> it only took five minutes to do it. <laughs> so a toast to our, our artists and our musical guests for everything they do to uplift our spirits and to create a stronger community at Fresno State and outside of Fresno State as well. So cheers to all of you. Cheers. Cheers. Um, at this point, we would actually like to thank our Fresno State Winery for donating the wine today for um, all of our artists and always being a uh, so um, they're always so encouraging and supportive of everything that we do. And so, you know, just cheers to the winery for, for donating all the wine. We really appreciate it. All right. So, you know, and don't worry about it, Nora. You know, let me tell you a little story. So when I got married almost 30 years ago, my, uh, we said I do's. We said, okay, let's do this. The, the, the uh, priest then says, now, mind you, my last name is Munoz, right? That's my married last name. Well, he introduced us as Mr. and Mrs. Falcon, which is my maiden name. <laughs> and 30 years later, we're still together. So my point is, is that, you know, there's always little things that just make us laugh. And that's what this is all about. Nothing is supposed to be perfect. None of us are perfect. So do not worry about it. We, we're all here to have a good time. And 30 years later, my husband has, has forgiven me most of the time for telling that story because, of course, I really enjoy it. <laughs> and, then, and then he turned around and said, well, we know who's going to wear the pants in the family. So <laughs> <laughs> thank you for your grace, Belinda. You all should know she stayed late yesterday and we met up. So, uh, you know, Belinda is she goes above and beyond. I'm so grateful. Well, thank you. Thank you. I appreciate that. Well, Chris Lopez, I'm going to go ahead and turn it on over to you because you're going to start us off with some great music. All right. Yeah, we are. Hello, my name is Chris Lopez from the Phoebe Conley Gallery in the Department of Art and Design. And I'll be one of a few co-hosts this afternoon. And we are so pleased and honored to have our first special guest musicians who prepared a video recording of a musical performance for us. These are freshmen through senior students from University High School. Their music director, Dr. Randall Cornelison, says he is extremely proud of their accomplishments this year, working so hard and creating wonderful music from home. And he adds, I miss them all profoundly. Ladies and gentlemen, the University High School Symphony Orchestra. Go ahead, Luis.
Bravo, that was amazing. I think we could all go home now. That was amazing. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. <laughs> all right, Belinda, I'll hand it off to you. All right. So yes, that was really good. And, and from what we understand, many of those students will be actually starting in the fall at Fresno State. So we'll, we'll be excited to hear, I'm sure, more from them. So that was awesome. Thank you. All right, so just a few reminders. Um, there is, uh, in the chat, you will find there's a few links. One is to the background. If you see the background that we're using today, uh, feel free to use it. We'd love to take a picture later on and show everyone using the background. Um, and we also um, have the voting that's going to be coming up. So we are going to uh, start to show some of the art. And we're going to do it in, I believe, two to three different segments. The art is going to be named, and there's going to be a number associated to it. So as you're watching the video that we're going to play shortly, uh, make sure to jot down the ones that you're, you're really fond of. And then we will open up the polling, which the link is in the chat that you can go ahead and, and click on there. And then the voting is going to, the, the, the screen will display the name and the number of the art. So um, again, write those down. We look forward to seeing that this is for the People's Choice Award. So we have a few different awards that we're giving out today that we will share at the end of our show or close to the end of our show. Um, but this one that you will be voting for is the People's Choice Award. So, all right. So with that, I think that we are good to start showing some art. Linda, want me to show them the website real quick? Uh, sure. Yeah, let me show them the website so you can uh, take a look. In case you miss anything, you can take a look here. Um, and so it's at the, um, uh, if someone could put that in the, um, the link to the website on the um, chat, that'd be great. It's 2021readaptation.com. And can you all see the site here? Yes. Good. Um, so um, here we have uh, uh, the artworks for voting at the top here. You click on that and this page will open up. And these are all, in numerical order from one to 28 down at the bottom. When you click on the piece, you'll notice that we have the number of the work, the title, but no name of the artist. We strategically pulled out the names of the artists um, just to, because to make, it, make it more fun. And then there's the media and the date there. So um, that should be pretty easy for you to scroll. You can just you know uh, move across by one using the arrows to right or left, and you can expand it by these uh, two arrows up at the corner and then expand the image down if you like. So that's the website. Um, it will, uh, we will expand the website uh, late after today. You will be able to see all the names of the artists, but if you wanna see all the names of the artists, you can just click on the artist page and that is open and you can read their um, full statement there. And again, you can click on their headshots and they will open up. Okay, let me stop sharing there. And I'm gonna to go to the video, the first part of, we have three videos. Um, and the first one is about uh, four minutes long. And 
let me share this with you. I had it queued up and then I didn't. So, <laughs> so here we go. Let me share my screen. Share. Okay. And let me get these. Sorry, I want to set this up. Okay, here we go. Enjoy. I hope you all enjoyed that. Uh, we'll have two more segments coming up for the rest of the works. That wasn't all of it. 
Um, and again, just a reminder, take note of those numbers. So at the end, we'll show you the link for the voting for the People's Choice Award, which will be voted by you. And now um, I'd like to uh, move on to the next segment. I'd like to introduce uh, Raymond Hall. And he is someone who, uh, who is coming back again this year. He uh, exhibited work last year in the Multiverse exhibit. And uh, he is, his piece uh, won the Best in Show Award entitled Scrap Metal Kinetic Sculpture, which he uh, we used as our graphic for our promos, which you saw in, both in the video as well as in the uh, digital pro, uh, promos for the cards. Um, so uh, Ray, are you there? I am. Greetings. Awesome. How are you doing? <laughs> well, I'm, I'm flattered that my art was featured on the background here. And uh, thanks so much. It looks great. <laughs> That's what we do. It makes it easy for the promo image. You know, we don't have to like figure out what to do. It's like, we'll just use the, the best in show award. <laughs> and I'm, it's been a welcome. year and I'm still a little shocked that I won last year. So, uh, <laughs> well, hey, welcome right? back. Welcome Thank back. You. And it's so great to have you again. Um, I you know. Tell us a little bit about yourself. I, I know you um you are in physics. You're a professor in physics, but then you are an artist. You're really blending those two things together, which is why we're having this event. It's it's exciting for that reason to showcase people like yourselves. And um, you are have shown work in exhibits, that, juried exhibits. Um, of course, last year you had the multiverse, but other juried art exhibits. So tell us a little bit about that. Oh well, thanks. Um, yeah, this was my uh, 21st year teaching at Fresno State, so I've been here a little while. Um, I've always had an interest in trying to convey science to those that don't know science very well or try to get people excited about science. And I, so to that end, I have an Instagram page, which um, let me just brag a little bit. I just uh, last month I hit 2 million followers. So that's a, it's a pretty big milestone. And uh, but uh, in, in 2018, long before I had kind of that kind of following, a uh, gentleman, uh, Professor Perez from uh, uh, from uh, the Rochester Institute of Technology contacted me because he saw one of my posted videos and he said, I want that in my art exhibit. And so that got put into this thing called Images of Science. And it was wow. uh, shown at John Hopkins in their art gallery. And that's what kind of got me thinking, oh, maybe I am making art. And so <laughs> that's what kind of gave me the, the, the jump start there. Uh, so um, it, it's been rolling along that way. And I've, I've entered things in a couple other juried exhibits on math, art, and art relating to science. And uh, yeah, it's been a lot of fun. It's been a lot of fun. Yeah, well, you absolutely are an artist. I think one of my favorite things about your last piece that just so um, how minimalist it is and very raw, but yet it does so much when it starts spinning around with that light. And then we have In Defiance of Gravity, which is the new piece you just, um, we have on display by you. We have a video documentation of that as well as a still image. And again, uh, this sort of you know raw construction of this piece, it's as kinetic, uh, art piece that does so have much it right here so yes there yeah, it is so it it, it I, I try to to do the minimalist because i want the uh plumb bob which you know is supposed to be a gravitational indicator uh you know showing us straight down but here it is definitely not going straight down i also wanted to use some chain which would be very hard to you know make a wire or something might look like it's supported in some way i want to give it a lack of support feeling i also feel that since this is the tool of a, a crowd a tradesman I wanted to keep the uh, essence of it kind of simplistic. So it doesn't look like there's any tricks to it. And that's that's kind of the goal. Uh, one thing is to kind of remind people that um, Harry Potter's fun, but there's actually some real magic in the world here and why that thing is just suspended there. Uh, I, I do have a little trick I'd like to share with you though. Uh, this is um, a very brief video that shows a way of seeing that magnetic field. So here is a, uh, container full of, oh, I have to click the button play, apparently. Mm -hmm. We're all doing good here. Uh, but uh, uh, some iron filings in a mix of oil align and kind of reveal the hidden magnetic fields that are around us at some times. And you can see here that that, that makes the, reveals the invisible and and makes it real. And so that's uh, it's a little bit behind the piece that, that I put on for today. Thank you. Wow, that was amazing. Uh, Professor Raymond Hall, thank you again for visiting us and saying a few words. We really appreciate not only you coming here today, but also participating two years in a row. And um, we thank you for that. So it's again, a delight. Thank you so much. All right. Take care. I'll see you. Bye. Now, next up, what do we have? Is it Belinda? Um, actually, I have a quick question for Raymond, oh. if you don't mind. Hold on, Raymond. 
So what would how what so if anyone so you said that you just kind of fell into this you it was something that you enjoyed doing and then you really decided that it was a piece of art so what what words do you have for any other faculty and staff on campus who love to dabble in or or just draw or sketch or or take pictures or anything but think that maybe they're not talented enough to display it somewhere. What what words of encouragement can you give to our fellow faculty and staff? Oh, I, you know, I, I think part of it is that somebody else had to kind of clue me in that, hey, you know what, you should really share that with others. And if you get that kind of feedback, uh, take them seriously. That's what I would say. Take, take, take the people, even if they, even if you know they're biased, um, take their feedback seriously. I, I think that's that's the best uh, words of encouragement I can give. Thank you. Thank you. And I would agree well with said. that. Well said. Yes. So that kind of just takes me into our next segment. So um, as you know, um, through the charge of Dr. Sandoval, we have a new task force on campus. It's a mental health task force team. And with that, you know, take this, taking a look at the new team that we have on campus and then with what we're doing today, Sometimes it's a way of being able to get out of your thoughts. I think sometimes we get so caught up in the everyday madness that goes on in our day that uh, we need some type of outlet. We need some type of um, hobby to, to clear our minds and to, to just get us through the day and to get us so that we can get up the next day and get going. And so I encourage anyone who has who, if you don't think that you have a talent, I promise you, you do. And I encourage you to really take a look at what that looks like and, and dig deep into it and let it shine, show it. So with that, we put together, um, there's going to be a link in the chat that's going to take you to a word cloud. And we have a question on the word cloud and we'd like for you just to, so from your phones, if you have your phone or on another, on your computer, open up another window if you could. And you're gonna go to the www.mentimeter.com that's up on the screen. And there's gonna be a code that's gonna ask you to enter. So you're gonna enter the 4432049. And I want you to take a reflection and, and think about it. How does art make you feel? So I'm going to give you just a moment to go ahead and do that. Again, the link is in the chat. It is www.mentimeter.com. Use the code 4432049. And I want you to, to share with the group, how does art make you feel? So I'm going to give you just a few minutes to, to, to do that. We'll give it just a few more seconds for you to enter in um, your words. But I want you to see the, the word that is standing out is happy, inspired, calm. Those are all words that when we sometimes are stuck in the moment of what's around us, we need an outlet. We need something to be able to give us those feelings again, give us that happy feeling. 
calm us down from what's going on around us. Give us that inspiration to get up the next day and be better tomorrow than we were today. That's all we need to do. We don't need to make big strides, just small steps in our mental health. We have to take care of ourselves. So I encourage anyone out there who um, was thinking about entering into the art show and then thought maybe my art's not good enough or maybe I, it's not art. I encourage you that next year to join, to jump in there, to be part of this, enjoy it, um, embrace your talents because each and every one of us have a talent. So embrace that and, and find your happy place and find your inspiration. Uh, that's my encouragement for today. Um, I'm gonna ask someone from my team to take a picture of the, um, um, the word cloud here. And we're going to share that on our social media um, and on our webpage at, for Staff Assembly. And um, if you want a copy of it, please take a, or feel free to take a picture of it now and keep it for yourself. Print it out, put it on your wall, um, put it on at your desk, uh, whatever it is that you, wherever you think that you will see it most and remind yourself, let's, let's find our happy place. Let's find some inspiration. Let's find some peace within ourselves and let's let's do this and let's do this together. So I hope that all of you will come back again next year and join us and make this even a bigger and better show. And hopefully, fingers crossed, we will be in person. All right, so with that, we're gonna go ahead and um, move it on over. We're gonna keep going and let's see, do we have, more music to share. So we, once again, we have a little bit of music that we're going to share. This is also from the University High School Orchestra.
Wow, that was amazing. <laughs> Incredible. Um, wow, good job. Uh, now to um, we're going to go to the second portion of the video, part two. And again, uh, you know, we should have plenty of time to be uh, to see the um, the works as they're being played through. Um, you have about thirty seconds, I think, per piece. So again, to keep an eye on those uh, those numbers, making sure that um, you uh, you're ready to make your make your votes here. I'm sharing my screen just a second here. Two. All right, here we go. That's the second part. We have one more part coming up. Uh, I believe Crystal's up next, correct? Yes. Thank you, Chris. <laughs> um, thank you for playing that. I really like the song choice, by the way. That's awesome. Yeah. Um, so up next, we have artist interviews. Um, and first up is Blake Greenwood. Are you there, Blake? Yeah. Hi, how's it going? It's going good, thank you. Awesome. Good to hear. So um, just to start off, tell us a little bit about yourself. Um, what department are you in? What is your title? Um, go ahead. I actually work in the Fresno State Financial Services in the post-award unit. And so I'm not on campus. I'm off campus. <laughs> oh, okay. Um, that is good to know. I didn't really, I mean, I have never heard of that um, department or mm -hmm. you know had a connection or so that's really awesome we, yeah we handle all the sponsored programs that come into fresno state so anytime someone gets a grant to do research or different various programs on campus we handle like the financial administrations okay good to know 
All right, so let's go ahead and move on to the next question. Um, is there an, in, any interesting backstory about the work or works that you submitted today? Um, well, first of all, I let us know the title the of your book. Oh, okay, yeah. So I did the Untitled Winter and then Home. I believe those are number nine and ten. And um, basically, winter is the most interesting one because my husband had asked me to paint something for Christmas, but this past year was not the brightest of years. So it ended up being this really dark, gray, stormy um scene rather than like a happy go lucky Christmassy scene but I kind of liked how that turned out rather than forcing myself to pretend to make something happy I was just like no I'm going to do dark and gray and hope for the best and it kind of worked out that's a beautiful depiction of energy transmutation I think you know it's part of life that things aren't always happy go lucky and um it's a beautiful way to like I said transmute the energy right into something more um I guess you can say healthy, productive for the self. So thank you for sharing that. Yeah. Um, and I have one more question for you before we move on to the next person. Um, is there a particular artist or artist that inspire you as an artist yourself? I can't say I follow anyone, but I do. I will say that when I was at Fresno State, um, Professor Stephanie Ryan was one of my favorites when I was there, and I. To this day, I still find her work to be some of the best work that I've seen or come in contact with. Um, I remember taking her classes and being very inspired by how she presented her artwork. Awesome. Thank you so much for sharing, Blake. Um, thank you for sharing your time. Thank you for participating. And we're definitely honored to have oh, yeah, you here you. today. Um, so moving forward, I have Chris who will interview um, Kenneth Balint, and yeah, please correct me if I said you're wrong, <laughs> your name wrong, Kenneth. <laughs> Kenneth, are you there? I am here. Hi, Hi. good to see you again. Um, so yeah, uh, thank you for for uh, submitting this work, this piece, it's a, a video dance piece um, entitled Exit Only. It's seven minutes long. It's very exciting. I mean, I, I mean that sentence goes by really fast. I do apologize. I'm not able to play it the entire time. The, the third segment of the video I'm going to show, um, I cut it down um, to about 40 seconds or so. But um, I do encourage everyone to see it. It has its own, you have, it has its own um, soundtrack. And it's just a wonderful piece. Tell us a little about the piece and a little background. Well, actually, maybe um, tell us first about yourself. So I know you are in dance. Yeah, uh, I'm in the, in the theater and dance department, and um, I'd rather talk about the piece. But, yeah, uh, talk about the piece. But, uh, the, the piece is, um, I, I work with a group called Contemporary Dance Ensemble, and usually it's a group of about 15 students. Well, last year it's only a group of, of nine, because that's all we could fit on stage. Um, but, uh, and usually their, their year winds down after February, but this year they were incredibly restless and um, felt they needed to do more. So we came up with the project and um, the project was this video. Um, and the, the title um, Exit Only is um, an updated version. Maybe some of you remember who Jim Morrison was um, he, he had this, uh, this, uh, this famous quote, nobody gets out of here alive. And the dancers, uh, I guess the dancers know who the doors were, even though that's quite a while ago. Um, but they, uh, there was a, a COVID sign on a lot of our doors that said exit only because you could only enter certain doors and exit certain doors in the studio. Um, so a lot of our doors have exit only on it. And they thought that was hysterical because yeah, you live life and you're in the moment. Um, in their moment, they want to be dancing. And yeah, they only want to move forward. <laughs> so uh, that's where the title came from. And uh, so they had a whole bunch of um, uh, scenarios, a little suite of ideas. Uh, and that's where we started filming from. And then we put it all together. And um, it was kind of a piece in search of a venue. So I, I I love the fact that I was able to be included in this. Uh, sometimes video, animation and video present stumbling blocks to art shows and art presentations. So thank you for having such an open mind and in including it. 
Um, and, it, and it was kind of a, a video searching, searching for a venue. And it's been shown um, twice now at two different uh, art shows. Um, and it's, uh, it's meant to be a fun piece because um, the dancers felt that fun is lacking <laughs> in the present. And um, they wanted to spread a little bit more of it around. And I was all for that. So we got to work um, uh, and the video is what we came up with. Speaking of fun, it, it looked fun. I mean, there's so many components to that video. I mean, you have the dance part, but you also have the graphic part too that comes in and out, and uh, which I thought was really great. Uh, you guys, you all will see a clip of it momentarily, but I thought that was really, it seemed like it was, you had a lot of fun uh, maybe I, um, well, as I, a, I, a I video. Wanted, I, wanted, I wanted to do the, the editing as kind of a member of the group. So mm -hmm. like the editing is like another dancer. Mm -hmm. um, it wasn't just someone picking and choosing what you saw, but someone actively engaged in movement. Yeah, certainly uh, had that feel. And I love the different part, like even like the zoning on the feet and seeing the feet moving or different parts of the body. And um, at one point I thought it was like someone on a piano or something, but it, was, it wasn't. It was just a reflection of their hands on a surface and all the different dancers you had moving around, which also just so they're, I guess they're, um, alone together really, right? They're all in different parts of, of, of wherever they were, but it all comes together so um, harmoniously. And I thought you executed that so well, it was so well done. And I know the jurors really had a lot to say about that. Thank you, they were a great group of students. Right, well, it sounds like you, you guys had a lot of fun. Thank you so much for submitting that. And we'll, hopefully you can submit another one next, uh, next year for next show. Thank you. And, right. and I would just like to say, I, sorry, chiming yeah. in here, but I really, really enjoyed the video. I was watching it and, and just as Chris mentioned, it was just so detailed, you know, the feet, the hands, the movement, the, the, the students seemed to really enjoy it too. And I, I thank you for sharing because it, it was very, I, I really enjoyed it. My pleasure. Yeah, yeah thank you, Kenneth. All right, Crystal, do we have uh, one more person? Yes, so up next we have Megan Goral. Or Gorel, please correct me if I'm wrong. Um, are you there, Megan? Hi, Crystal, I'm here. Hey, go ahead and introduce yourself. Uh, what is What department do you work in? What is your title? And then we'll go with the next question. Hi, okay, um, I'm Megan and I work, um, I'm the customer service coordinator in student accounts. Uh, um, so I work in Joyelle and accounting services, basically ensuring our students have um, a good experience when having to deal with their financial issues the university as well. Thank you. Um, the question that I am most interested in asking you is, um, how do you get motivated to begin your art making process? I know it looks a little bit different for everyone. And so I'm curious to know. Um, I, it doesn't, it's not really hard actually. Um, I love picking up my camera and going and I, I photograph a lot of different things. Um, I, Arts kind of all over the place. Um, and I just love to be able to create something that it's almost like sharing a moment with other people and sharing a place and time um, so that they can experience the same thing I am um, in a way <laughs> through my photographs. So that really inspires me and gets me going. Thank you for that. Um... And let's see, another question that I have for you and the last one that I have is, as an employee at Fresno State, is there anything in your area of study or like your work workspace? And I know a lot of us are, you know, telecommuting, but um, would you say that you have something that inspires you to be creative on a daily basis? Um, I am working on campus. Um, okay. We are very, very busy. Um, I don't... Remind, I, photography is about capturing moments um, and it can be really difficult when we're so kind of overloaded with work um, to remember to be present in the moment and remember to stop and, you know, say thank you for something for a coworker who did something for you or uh, just those little things that can be hard. So. I have to be present to be able to do that in those moments, um, to be, you know, a good team member. And so that inspires me and reminds me to be in the moment, which inspires influences the photography. So 
I like that. It's a way of definitely integrating, you know, your passion as an artist, but also your dedication to serving other people. So definitely. Thank you so much for that. Um, and that was actually all I have for you. So thank you for sharing your time with us. Okay, hey, so up next you. to all the artists who interviewed today. Thank you. Yes, thank you so much. We appreciate you. Um, okay, so up next, we have another musical performance by the UHS um, Orchestra. So Luis, take it away. Actually, you know what, Luis, oh. let's, I'm going to change things up a little bit, if you don't okay. mind. Um, yeah to know me to know I kind of do this sometimes so sorry about that but in the inspiration of Kenneth and his dancing I can I would like to show that dance video and we'll play about it is a very long video um it's I believe about five or six minutes and we won't do all of it but let's play about two and a half minutes of that Luis So, so that's not the video. No, 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 no. It's, it's, um, it's not your video. Luis, if we can't get any volume to it. So this piece is actually a piece that I received from uh, Fresno City College. It's uh, their students and it is just a dance piece that uh, talks about mental health is their inspiration. But let's try that again and see if we can get some music behind it. Or some volume. There's still no volume to it, Louise. So let's go ahead and let's go ahead and jump back. Sorry about that, everyone. We'll go ahead and work on that video. And let's go ahead and, and um, play another one of the University High. And we do have some live music coming up as well.
Wow, that was amazing. Well, yeah, I think that was our final clip. Is that right, uh, the symphony? That is correct. And, um, that wow. is the final clip for them. Well, I hear there, there are two seniors that are going to be uh, coming, joining us here at Fresno State after this year uh, in the fall. So we're looking forward to, to seeing them. Yes. Yeah. So we, we are now going to, um, do we have Jose on the line now? to do your yeah did you want to do the, the last part of the video perform? first or did you want to do going to jose i was just what making sure that he's on so what what we can do is we'll play the video the last piece of the video once oh, we're done there. with that we will yeah. have jose play and while jose is playing we will open up the voting link to start voting perfect all right. Yeah, great. And I see Jose there. He's he's getting ready. So here we go. I'm going to show the third and final segment of the uh, video. Um, so once again, uh, I have uh, the um, the well much edited down version of the video piece from uh, Kenneth Valence uh, class I just mentioned to you about. So um, so let me uh, go ahead and share my video. Screen. Okay, here we go.
All right, hope you all enjoyed that. That's all the works there. So um, as Belinda was saying, we'll put the uh, voting uh, link there so you can all submit your votes for the People's Choice Award and we'll tell you those votes up. Um, and while we're doing that, I'm going to introduce our um, uh, final music performer tonight. Um, where am I? Am I? Oh, here we go. Uh, so this is our second, second musical guest. Um, he'll uh, play a couple songs. Uh, he's from our very own music department uh, to play a song for us, the performing arts technician, Mr. Jose. Hey, hey. I just want to make sure that I'm, you guys can hear me. Yeah, yeah. Okay, awesome. Yeah. <laughs> All right, perfect. Uh, yeah, I'm Jose. Um, I'm typically behind the scenes if you ever come to any of our musical performances here uh, in the concert hall. In the hey, Jose, department. you can turn your mic up a little bit. Sorry. Sure. A little better? Yeah, that's better. Okay, Thanks. awesome. Uh, yeah, so uh, I'm super excited to be performing. Uh, it's been a while, obviously, um, because of all of our restrictions. But uh, once things start opening up, I'd love to see you guys in our seats. So without further ado, this song's called I Hate All Your Show. It was written by John Foreman. <laughs> your show and pretense hypocrisy of your praise hypocrisy of your festival I hate all your show away with your noisy worship away with your noisy hymns I stop on my ears when you're singing them on your show instead let there be blood of justice an endless procession of righteous living living instead let there be a flood of justice instead of a show Instead, 
let there be a flood of justice an endless procession of righteous living living instead let there be a flood of justice instead of a show All right, good job. Very nice. Thank you, Jose. We'll be uh, meeting up again in the end here to play another song. Thank you so much. Crystal, I Thank think you. you're up. Yes, I am. Thank you. Right. Thank you, Jose, for sharing that song with us. Um, just a reminder that the voting polls are open right now. Um, but coming up next, we do have an open mic for the artists who participated um, to share a few words if you'd like. So does anyone want to share? Don't be shy. Karen, I see a hand up there, feel free. I just wanna know how come my background is reversed from everybody else. That's it. <laughs> oh, I see it normally. It looks good to me on my end. <laughs> you see it the right way? Yeah. I see yeah, a mirror. You're fine. Yeah, yeah it's only reversed to yourself. Oh gosh. <laughs> well, there you have because it. Because it's because the camera is backwards, so you have to reverse it so that the other people see it straight. <laughs> I just learned that too. I always assumed that it actually had to do with what people saw too. <laughs> well, I was <laughs> thinking I name. was the only <laughs> stupid one here. Okay, that's good. Thanks. <laughs> no, you're good. Thank you. Does anyone want to share? So now that I've looked at my background, I realize I am one of the stupid ones. So thanks, Karen, for pointing that out. <laughs> Technology is uh, is difficult. Um, I just want to appreciate that uh, this was done again. And uh, Belinda and your team, and obviously Chris, and everybody who actually took the time to put this together, um, we really appreciate it. And it's it's great to have some sort of venue and some sort of space to share, even though uh, we're all still kind of easing back into uh, getting getting together. So I look forward to this when it's a real party and we can uh, all come together in person and actually be right, right there with the art and the photos and listen to the music as well. So thanks to everybody. Um, look forward to this and I'm just really happy to have participated. Thank you, David. It's very kind of you to share. Yeah, thanks, David. Um, yeah, so we appreciate it. Um, we have time for another um, person, another open mic. So if anyone is interested, let me know. It looks like your hand is up, so let's go. <laughs> I just wanted to say the same thing as David, that like, if this hadn't come along, I probably wouldn't have looked at what I have been working on or what I've done in the recent years as anything that would be worth showing or having shown. So it's nice to have this type of venue and avenue presented. Otherwise, these things would just live in my house in a cupboard somewhere. So thank you for that. Thank you, Blake. Um, it's really nice to just discover, you know, the talents that uh, people here on campus have, you know, besides having our, you know, eight to five, uh, serving the campus and all that good stuff. Um, it's very much appreciated. Belinda, would you like to add anything or um, close the polls down? Actually, we're gonna keep them open for just a few more minutes. I know yesterday, so uh, for the artists, we did a pickup party where they were able to pick up their printed brochures and some certificates and a bottle of wine that was donated to each one of them, to each one of the artists. And I had the opportunity then to speak to a few of you regarding your art and what your inspiration was behind it. And uh, so I'd like to hear from a few of you, um, if you recall our conversation yesterday about the inspiration and why you decided to paint what you did or even get into doing the art that you do. Leslie, I know I, well, you and I had a good conversation yesterday. Would you like to share with the group? Um, sure, I'll share. Um, let's see. Well, I don't. I don't really remember what I said to you, but um, I'll just say um, 
partly the reason that I paint is to keep my sanity. It really kept my sanity during the pandemic. So I'm very grateful to have had that um, outlet. And, um, you know, I just kind of paint um, what's in me and just what kind of wants to come out. And so I, I just paint until I feel like I'm finished. That's kind of how it goes. And when I start, I usually start with a sketch and when I'm finished, it doesn't, you know, it doesn't really look like what I started with because it's a, a work in progress till it's done. Thank you. And Karen, you and I uh, talked yesterday about, um, you now have a piece that is displayed in, in, in the coast area, is that correct? Uh, I have um, several pieces that are in Morro Bay in the Seven Sisters Gallery. And then there is a, a shop in Arroyo Grande that takes some of my things. And then um, in Monterey, there's a shop that takes my cards. So, it, and I was really, really surprised <laughs> at um, how soon I was able to get into a gallery. Um, and I did that with the otters. And I figured that that was a good place to start. And as soon as they saw the otters, they, they told me that they don't have a lot of paintings of otters, which I found really surprising. So um, that's kind of how I got started. And then she actually hosted two shows for me, which was really amazing. Because <laughs> I mean, I, I paint, but I don't think I'm any really great. Um, so those were kind of fun. And uh, I did a lot of paintings of moral rock, which I won't paint moral rock probably again for 20 years. <laughs> but it, it's like, and, the, and it's the inspiration to actually the otters that came from my daughter. My daughter has been a fan of otters since she was teeny tiny. And both of us just love them. So when I started painting, I, I had never painted any animals or people. And I thought, okay, I'm gonna do this. And if it turns out really horrible, I won't show it to her. So that's where the otters came from. And uh, I gave it to her as a gift. Well, thank you for sharing. We're going to keep the polls open probably for about another 60 seconds. And then we are going to uh, tally those votes up. Um, Meanwhile, we are going to just play some music for everyone to enjoy uh, while we get those tallied up. Then uh, we're going to come back. We're going to hear a little bit more music um, from Jose. We will then present the winter, the winners of all of the categories um, for the art today. So as we get close to closing up today, let's go ahead and enjoy some music uh, while we tally those up and we'll be right back.
right, so it looks like the votes are in. Um, but before we uh, give announce that, I'd like to uh, just share. So if you like what we did today, if you are interested in coming up with some ideas just like this to share on campus, um, events that you think would be fun, um, share them with us. We're always open as staff assembly to try new things. This was presented to us about two and a half years ago and we made it happen. Um, last year was year one and then this year. So uh, we were super excited to do it. Would have never thought about it if it wasn't for the arts department that presented this to us. So uh, if there's anything that you think of that you'd like to see from our committee, um, please feel free to share with the group, email me, let me know. But even more so, if you enjoy things like this and you would like to be part of a team on campus, an organization that puts together some fun ideas um, and then presents them to our campus, we would love to have you join our team. We're always looking for new recruitments, but we're, um, so our, they put in the, in the chat the, uh, a link to our website where there is a short application. Basically, it's just letting us know who you are. Um, and so if you are interested in being part of an organization, we would love to have you. So thank you. And with that, I'm going to go ahead, go ahead and turn it over to Crystal and Chris. Thank you, Belinda. Um, so I just really quickly wanted to share before I turn it over to Chris. Um, a few details about this year's art show. Um, we had a total of 11 participants and 28 works, um, which is a really good turnout. And you know, some of these works varied um, from dance to acrylic and watercolor paintings, photography, sculpture, and mixed media. So it's definitely been interesting to just see the variety that we uh, received. Um, and up next, we do have the category winners. Um, and just a reminder that some of our award categories are best in show, people's choice, and we have a couple of honorable mentions as well. So Chris, would you like to take it away? You're on mute. Can you hear me now? Yes. Okay, sorry, I think I'm, I was unmuted. Um, I'll get this fixed here for one second. Just got the uh, People's Choice Award uh, winner. So I'm just getting that name up inside there. Okay, great. Um, all right, I think I'm back. <laughs> Hello, everyone. Um, thank you again for, for you all being here and waiting patiently. Um, and now for the moment you've all been waiting for, um, I'll announce the awards for the 2020 Readaptation Fresno State Employee Art Show. But first, I want to tell you a little bit about our jurors, uh, Heather Hubbard and Michael Parola. Um, Heather Hubbard, firstly, uh, currently lives in Fresno, California, where she is a full-time ceramic and, and caustic artist and an adjunct biology instructor at Clovis Community College. Heather is also a member of Scarab Creative Arts in downtown Fresno, where she teaches ceramic classes and workshops, as well as a place for art studio practice. In addition, uh, Michael Prola, our other juror, is also from Fresno, is the creative director of Metaphor Creative, a nationally award-winning advertising and marketing firm. Michael has taught graphic design classes at California State University Fresno, Fresno City College, and Avenal State Prison, and drawing classes at Clovis Adult Education. Thank you so much, Michael and Heather, for your contributions in the challenging task of juring the awards for this exhibit. Now, the jurors were in charge of selecting the Best in Show Award. In addition, they also had selected two honorable mentions. And finally, I will announce in the end the People's Choice Award selected by you. Um, now, before I announce the awards, I just want to say that this event is way more than receiving an award, but rather a time for all of us to come together and celebrate all of the artworks from such talented Fresno State employees. So I just want to say that first. And so now let me um, queue up my PowerPoint and I'll share that with you all. Oh, there you are, Heather. Heather, do you want to say a couple words? You don't have to. You want to unmute yourself and say a couple things? <laughs> Hi. This is Heather Hubbard, everyone. 
I know Michael couldn't make it, but thank you for showing up. Heather, do you want to say a couple things about the, the jury and some of the I, artwork that you saw? Sure. I just uh, wanted to thank you for um, including me in on this. This is such a, a wonderful event and um, it's very it's been very inspiring for me as a, both a biology instructor and an artist myself. I, I often, um, uh, I often find it really interesting to see what other people kind of in similar situations are doing with their creative minds and uh, energies. And I just have to say, I was so impressed with all the entries were amazing. Um, really, really strong entries. So um, I just wanna say I'm grateful for being able to participate in this and uh, um, Hopefully, I will. Uh, well, I'm definitely going to uh, be viewing this in the future as well. It's right. such a wonderful venue. Uh, yeah, for... we'll have the website up and running for you to see all the work. Yeah. Yeah. Well, thank you. You're welcome. Yeah, thank you again. And I had so much fun with both you and Michael. Yeah. Just, like, chatting for a couple. I mean, it seems like we're just hanging out with friends talking about the work. And exactly. Stuff, it was really a lot of fun. So art um, brings people together. It does in so many ways. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> all right. Yeah. Thank you. Right. Thank you, Heather. I'm going to go ahead and share my screen now uh, and show the um, PowerPoint. Let's see here. Okay, I'm going to assume you all can see that. Let me just expand. Oops. No. There we go. Bear with me one second. I'm trying to like, something's blocking my, there we go. All right. Now I can't hear anyone or see anyone, so I'm assuming everyone can see that okay? <laughs> Someone say yes, maybe? Good job, Chris, good All job. Right. <laughs> Thanks. That's good. I need that, excellent. So here we are, 2121 Readaptation uh, exhibit, and we are gonna go um, look at the awards. Beginning with the honorable mention, the first honorable mention goes to number one, piece number one, uh, Lisa Weston, and this piece entitled Penumbra, and this is a photograph created this year in 2021. Lisa is a professor in English. I'm so happy she got an award for this. I loved all of her, three of her works that she posted up, and of course, during the, the jury, and I don't say anything. I'm just there to just monitor and make sure everything's going smoothly. I was so happy when, when this was uh, selected as an honorable mention, and of course, you know, all of the works, um, all of her three of her works were uh, discussed, but this one was really wonderful. Congratulations, Lisa. I know you're out there somewhere. I think I saw you earlier. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> well done. Good job. Um, the next honorable mention goes to number 21, Raymond mm. Hall in Defiance of Gravity. And this is a mixed media kinetic sculpture, oak, neo <laughs> neodymium magnet, stainless steel hardware and chain and standard plum bob. I don't know what half that stuff is, but it's awesome. <laughs> it was amazing. Thank you so much, Raymond. He, he spoke earlier, if you missed him, uh, you missed out. He gave a nice little uh, talk about his work and did some really cool stuff with it. So good job. Thanks, uh, Raymond. And um, thanks, uh, Lisa, for submitting your work. Now, um, for the Best in Show Award, I do have a drum roll here. Go. The best in show award oh. goes to <laughs> next. Number eight, Leslie Weiser for, un for consciousness. I almost said unconscious. Consciousness. This is a, an acrylic painting, uh, 2008, uh, 2018 it was painted in, and this is a 54 by 27 inch painting. Uh, Leslie is a psychologist in the counseling and psychological services. Leslie, congratulations. Good job. Well done. You got the Best in Show Award. Thank um, you so much. You're welcome. And we'll, uh, you'll get a plaque and you'll also be, this, we'll use your art piece for the promotion for our next show next year. Great. Thank you well so much. Well done. Good job. Excellent. Now for the People's Choice Award. I'm going to do another drum roll because why not? Because it's fun. All right, the winner goes to, oh, <laughs> trouble again. 
Number nine, Blake Greenwood, Untitled Winter, Acrylic Painting. Now, I didn't have a chance to get that image in really quick, but it is number nine, and you'll be able to see that on the, um, on the website. So, um, Blake, congratulations. Well done. If you're out there. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Good job. All right. Well, um, thank you all. Let me see. I got to stop sharing. Hold on a second. I can't see anyone now because I'm still sharing. There, shop share. There we go. There. You, yeah. Well done. Uh, thank you all for for uh, for joining us today. And thanks to the, those. And congratulations, to those of you who won an award. But um, congratulations to everyone, to all of you who uh, submitted work. And we want to see uh, more of you next year. We want to see more people submitting work. We had a good uh, uh, group last year. We have another. You know, you guys. You know, we had a good uh, turnout this year. We want to see this uh, happening uh, from here on out. And we would like to really see this as a, an annual event that we all look forward to and have a good time. And honestly, I think it's going to be a lot better. I mean, this was a lot of fun, but I think it's going to be a lot better inside the comedy gallery. We're going to have, you know, we'll, we'll make it a blast. It'll be food and drinks and stuff, and we'll have a good time. So thank you again. I really enjoyed doing this as I did last year and this year, and I really am looking forward to, um, to next year again. Um, uh, all right. Well, thank you. I'm going to hand this off to uh, who we have next. Is it Linda? Or is it Crystal? <laughs> Actually, uh, congratulations to all the winners. I'm so excited for you, all, each of you. Your art was amazing. Um, thank you for sharing it with the group. All four of you will get a plaque. Every single one of you got a certificate signed by both uh, the Dean of the, the Arts and Humanities, of course, Nora Chapman and of course, and uh, President Sandoval. So we hope that, yes, I look forward to next year, hopefully being in person um, and making this bigger and better and seeing more of your work displayed and all that good stuff to, to come. So thank you again. Uh, Nora, are you still on? Would you, is there anything, Dr. Chapman, is there anything you'd like to say before we close? I. Thank you, Belinda, for your leadership in pulling this together and your team. Um, and I really want to congratulate all of the artists because your work was so inspiring and you brought us together. And that's really beautiful at a time like this when we've had a very long year. I'm excited to see the professors and the staff, everybody coming together as a community. And we can't wait to gather you in the gallery next May. When you come to the gallery, we will hug each other and thank everybody for their artistry and the fact that we are creating community together through art. And that's what really matters. Um, the consciousness as Leslie's um, beautiful acrylic shows of how much we need other human beings and how art creates connections between humans unlike anything else. So thank you all artists and audience members and see you in the fall on campus. Thank you. We will have all of the, the, the website with all of the art, including the full video. You have to go on and watch the entire video of the dance performance. Um, and all of this will be up on the website that you currently have the link to. It'll also be on the staff assembly website. And we'll be posting pictures on the staff assembly uh, social media as well. So if any of you took pictures, please feel free to tag us in it. We'd love to see what, you, what you've captured. And with that, we're gonna go ahead and close it off. Thank you all again so much. Jose, do you have another uh, beautiful song to share with us? Yes, yes I do. All right, this, this song requires a prop. It all makes sense once, once the song starts going. But um, my guilty pleasure is pop tunes. And uh, this one I heard and I thought, what if you strip away all of the production behind it and there's some value in the lyrics. So um, I hope you enjoy it. Um, it's okay to laugh because it is very humorous, but, um, but yeah, I'm gonna, it's, it's kind of more vocally strained, so I'm gonna turn my mic down a little bit so that way you guys, uh, it'll all level out.
I want to thank Miley Cyrus for that song, right? <laughs> yeah, good job. Thanks, Jose. Thank you, everyone. Yeah. We will see you all soon and definitely next year. That Bye, was so everyone. much fun. Thank you. That was great. Had a good time. <laughs> thank you. Bye-bye. Bye. 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 Bye, Nora. Have a great summer. You too. Bye, William. Great job. That was amazing. Catch you, Chris. Later. I loved it. We had another yeah. great one. I look forward to next year. I seriously. Oh, know. it'll be amazing in the gallery. Just yes. amazing. Oh, I know. It, Can't it wait. Is, it, it, I think you're going to have an issue of trying to curate lots of art. <laughs> it's going to come out of the woodwork hopefully. after this year. Yeah. Well, hopefully and that will be the problem. Yeah, <laughs> I, I think so. I think you're yeah. going to have a plethora of pieces and you'll be trying to figure out, oh, my God, uh, yeah. what do I do? Well, I think that will still be easier than assembling and putting together a website because that's a oh, lot of work. And the website's beautiful, by the thank, way. Thank it you. It really showcases the pieces. Uh, um, uh, thank you so much. That was all me <laughs> this time. Yes. I learned Chris, so much from my intern taught Chris, me so much. So. <laughs> you Layla did amazing. not do it. It's no, she, I learned a lot from her. So my, Layla, Layla was my intern this last couple semesters, Belinda. And, uh, you know, she really helped me out. She was, she's in graphic design. And so I, I learned a lot of little, I, I stole some ideas from her. And, but so I'm giving her partial credit, but it, um, 
yeah, it, it all came together. And it's, it is a lot more work than putting the work up physically. So I will say. That's interesting <laughs> to point out, yeah. to know. Well, and with Jose singing, that's it. Miley Cyrus. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that was perfect. Oh my God, that was, was. awesome. <laughs> it really I, I, was. I, it was I so fun. And, yeah. you know, there are folks I haven't seen in ages, and I saw them in the Zoom screen, even when it's just in a box. Better than not at all. Better than not at all. Right there. <laughs> Chris, do you think we can do, um, like, break everything down, do little snippets of stuff and put it into a video to like share on our social media. Yeah. For the, um, for like this, for the recording on the, yeah, let's do that. You yeah, should. Um, I'll grab it and then I'll throw into my video thing and work my magic and stuff. And I'll throw some of, maybe I can grab uh, Jose's music and have that in the background. That's I, I, well, I was actually talking about like to recap this one, like a little, that's actually probably a better word to do like a little recap of, of this one and show like little snippets of videos kind of like right. what you did with the three and then like the winners and what their pieces were and that that would be really nice yeah let's do that um yeah i'll get on that um i'm gonna take tomorrow off <laughs> yes please do <laughs> you did a lot of work <laughs> i mean granted i was at disneyland two days ago but um i was still working as you know but um i yeah i haven't had a day off in a while it's been i was kind of like it's been a couple few months now i think <laughs> and you know and you know, I want to off, say, but uh, not really. Dr. Sandoval actually stayed on for a I, full hour. Probably he did. Longer. That's impressive. Yeah. Yeah. He wow. did. It was I was very impressive because he 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 um, gave us 15 minutes, but we got an hour. Wow. So, you know, that's actually really nice. Yeah, he no, loved it's, it's it. Unheard of. And I will say, both he and Nora, I mean, the two of them, like, for, the, I mean, I can't believe, I can imagine how busy both of them must be. Both you, well, Nora, and 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 uh, so we'll and to see, you, know, you guys are always present, and I think that's incredible. It's, it says so much to not just us as employees and the student body. I mean, to to have a face to the you know to the name because you usually know that you see the name, but you don't see have associated face to that, and that's really impressive. You guys both do such a, an amazing job with that. So yes, thank you very much. Thank so. And Crystal, thank yes. you for your leadership with yeah. all of this. You were so great yeah. keeping us on track, keeping yeah. <laughs> uh, the agenda, telling us what we needed to do. Meetings <laughs> I was late to all the time. Being out there, um, you know, pulling all the artists in, grabbing the certificates, everything, everything. Yeah. You get. Thank, thank you Good for job. everything. All of your art, putting all of this thank stuff you. together, all the flyers and yeah. information to share, all of that was all you. And so thank, thank you for that. Thank you for your leadership. Thank yeah. you. I appreciate it. It was definitely a learning experience, um, a very enjoyable one, even though it was, you know, a little bit stressful, but <laughs> definitely great for me too. So thank you. Uh, and to Belinda, you too. Yeah, I know, then, brava. Yeah, you're an amazing host. I mean, you came in and you kept it going and you did a, a great job. I mean, you're, I saw you, you're keeping track of that time and you, it going. you do such a great job with these events. So I, I really enjoy this, you know, being part of this. This is really great. And I know both of you and Crystal have a lot to do with yes. this. And I just, um, you know, Cheers. <laughs> yes, cheers. Yes, definitely. Cheers. 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 <laughs> and on oh. that, I'm empty, so I've I've got to go. <laughs> <laughs> this time. <laughs> Congrats. Have yeah. a lovely evening and a great summer if I don't see you. Thank right. you. Thanks again. Bye, everyone. Bye, Dr. Chapman. Bye. Bye. I'm gonna go too. I gotta um take care of my kids. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> right. get some rest. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You too. Bye. Bye, Crystal Bye. and Glenna. Thank you so much. I'll Thank see you. Ya.